वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स टूडेज वीडियो टॉपिक इज हाउ टू यूज फिल्टर फंक्शन इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल टू एक्सप्लेन द यूज ऑफ फिल्टर फंक्शन हियर आई हैव क्रिएटेड थ्री डिफरेंट एग्जांपल्स इन द फर्स्ट एग्जांपल आई हैव डिफरेंट प्रोडक्ट्स एंड देयर क्वांटिटी सोल्ड इन डिफरेंट मंथ्स द रिक्वायरमेंट हियर इज टू एक्सट्रैक्ट द सेल्स डेटा ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स हैविंग एवरेज सेल्स दैट इज ग्रेटर देन सेवेंटी यूनिट्स इन द एग्जाम्पल टू आई हैव द इम्प्लॉई डेटा and the requirement here is to extract the employee data for female employees only in the third example there is a data of date wise item wise quantity sold and the requirement here is to extract the report from 7th january 2025 to 15th january 2025 let's go to the example number 1 to extract the sales report for the products having average greater than 70 first of all copy the column headers control c then paste it here control v and here below this product name use the filter function press equal to type filter bracket open in the array you have to take the source data range then put a comma in the include parameter we have to put the condition that is select this average sales column and this should be greater than 70 this is our condition this if empty parameter is the optional parameter where you can put the value that you want to display if the data is not found so let me put here comma then put double quotation not found double quotation close bracket then press enter and here you see the data is filtered this is the report for the products having average sales that is greater than 70 unit let's go to the second example where my requirement is to extract the employee data of female employees only to a new sheet for this first of all select the column headers copy create a new sheet then paste the column headers here below the employee id use the filter function press equal to type filter bracket open in the array go to the example to sheet then select this data source put a comma and in the include parameter you have to put the condition that is this gender column select the gender column this should be equal to f so put here double quotation f double quotation then put a comma in the if empty parameter put what you need to display if the value is not found for that put a double quotation record not found double quotation bracket close press enter here you see the database for female employees only is extracted let's go to the example number 3 where the requirement is to extract the report from 7th january 2025 to 15th january 2025 in this case we have two condition the first condition is the date should be greater than or equal to 7th january 2025 and the second condition is the date should be less than or equal to 15th january 2025 in this case we have to use the filter function in this way first of all copy the column headers paste it over here below the date use the filter function equal to filter bracket open in the array select the source data range put a comma in the include parameter to use multiple condition open bracket then select this date range and this date range should be greater than or equal to so put here greater than equal to symbol then use the date function open bracket here put year month and day value that is 2025 january 7 so put here 2025 comma 1 comma 7 close the bracket then put the multiplication symbol this multiplication symbol refers to the and condition because here both of these two condition should be satisfied for filtering the data if the requirement is to use or condition instead of and condition then you have to use the plus symbol instead of this multiplication symbol which i'll show you later and here 
for the another condition open another bracket then select the date range again put here less than equal to symbol then use the date function bracket open in the year put 2025 comma month is 1 comma and the day is 15th so put 15th close bracket close one more bracket here also you have to close one more bracket after this first condition click at the end then put a comma and in the if empty parameter put here double quotation not found double quotation bracket close then hit enter here you see the report is filtered according to this date range here you have to convert this date values to date formatting by selecting this go to the format option then select sort date this is the report from 7th january 2025 to 15th january 2025 so this is how you can use the multiple condition let's see using the or condition by using the plus symbol suppose that if you want to filter the data for two items only for example microwave oven and electric kettle in this case let me show you how we use the formula select the column header copy and paste it over here below the date use the filter function equal to filter bracket open in the array select this source data range put a comma in the include parameter now we have to use two condition for that open the bracket select this item name range of the source data and this should be equal to so put here equal to symbol then put the name of the product inside a double quotation so put here double quotation then put the product name which is microwave oven double quotation bracket close then for the next condition we have to use here the plus symbol open the bracket again then select this item name column press the equal to symbol then put here the second product name that is electric kettle so put here double quotation electric kettle double quotation bracket close put a comma then for the if empty put a double quotation not found double quotation bracket close then hit enter and here you see the report is filtered for two products that are the microwave oven and electric kettle so this is how you can use the filter function in microsoft excel for filtering the data if you want to practice this you can download this sample data file from the link given in the video description Thank you very much for watching. See you again in next video tutorial.